Good morning, all fin sailors. I'm John Borberes from Hungary. I am an Olympic silver medalist, a world champion, and a two times European champion. And I'm here in Balaton, and uh, we are looking forward to organize your great Europeans next year. This was since I started Olympic sailing, it was my dream to achieve and to step on the podium. And I can say that I can say that uh, yes, this was my biggest dream in in my sailing career, and uh, and I achieved that. So everybody can imagine what it means to me. It means the world. So I think uh, my medal was a proof that that. Uh, if anybody or anybody wants anything and really do everything for it, he can achieve it. And I think this is a proof for everyone, uh, not only in Hungary, but I think uh, every sailor. I'm running this uh, sailing club now. It's been one year that we are uh, we are running this club and I really enjoy it. I would like to learn how the Hungarian sailing works, especially the youth part of it. And... Uh, it's a challenge for me because I, I never done such a job. It's it's not easy, I can tell you that. But uh, I really like the challenges. And basically in every every moment in my life I'm looking for challenges. This is a this is a good one. And uh, I see the progress in my myself and also in the club where we can learn together and uh, achieve big goals. And this is gonna be one of the biggest steps what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna organize these Europeans for for my loved class Finn. So I hope it's gonna be great. Made for dinghy sailing. There is no big boats. It's not a marina. It's just perfect place. We have five thousand square meters, so we can easily organize even hundred plus Europeans. And we have the beach next to us, and we can also get some part of that. So. We're gonna have plenty of space. Uh, usually, this may uh, is not lack of wind. So hopefully, we're gonna get. Uh, uh, I think average, maybe 12, 15 knots, but it's it's always always changing on the lake. But basically, I I didn't grow up on this lake, but I sailed a lot here, and uh, it's gonna be challenging. And uh, mm, I think it's a great opportunity always to to bring such an event to a lake because uh, then everybody has a chance because the wind is shifting much more than on the sea and uh, everybody can have a, a good race. If you sail on the sea and it's shifting maybe five degrees and it's always 15 knots, then it's the, race, the race is basically boring because basically at the start, you know who's going to be the first or the second with the proper start. So... So I like, I like, I love this type of sailing and uh, hopefully everybody will do as I. Since the Olympics, I sailed only one hour with my fin. It was rigged, it was here, but uh, this is the sad part of, of, of this Olympic sailing that basically it took away the passion what I had before uh, with the sailing, but I really hope that it will come back and if it comes back, I will be definitely on the start. I think, uh, as I said, this place is uh, is just amazing. Our club, this is the only in uh, Hungary, which which is only for the dinghy sailors. And uh, I think we can uh, we can achieve big goals here. I would like to work with the youth sailing, uh, but first of all, I have to understand how the system works, as I mentioned before, and I I really want to start from the from the bottom raising uh, sailor kids and and most importantly we would like to raise proper men because in these times it's uh, hard hard to hard to be a good man i would say or hard to be a good person and uh, sport and sailing itself it's it's a great tool for the kids that uh, we can uh, give them ideas how to how to take care of stuff, how to be focused when you are working, you have to be 100% there. And I think this is the only tool left.
to raise our children. Hungary properly. is very strong in that. Luckily, we have uh, quite a couple of clubs who are uh, pushing the kids or the the big ones to say uh, if they if they grow too big and they cannot sell the laser, we still have amazing fleet in in Hungary and. Uh, this is the only dinghy class which is for proper men. So whoever feels himself a proper man, we are more than welcome him in the, our fleet. And also we had one woman uh, when we had the words here, a Hungarian lady who, were, uh, who was uh, sailing the, the gold cup actually with us. And it was, it was something special. So yes, of course, as always, we are always welcome the women. <laughs> class from the very beginning and actually how the Hungarian sailing culture works. Pin class was always a family since I stepped in it. It's a, a close family in Hungary and it's a white family uh, internationally. I, I only get my, basically my friends from, not from Hungary, from this class. So this is family, Finnish family for me.